Welcome to DeFi Crypto Today. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, something I find very interesting. It's called uh, their um, web browsers that are crypto friendly and that also help uh, increase your security online and decrease the number of ads and trackers that follow you everywhere. You know what I mean? It's like uh, you go on a web page and there's an ad for toothpaste, and suddenly you see toothpaste ads everywhere. And how did this happen? Well, there's code on those web pages that track what you're watching. Okay. Uh, you know, you go on Google, you type uh, toothpaste, and you get, you know, uh, listings for toothpaste uh, and the, t the first few have been paid right paid ads and then they follow you everywhere and you can't seem to find a single website where you can't and you're not gonna see toothpaste ads and that can be a little bit annoying <laughs> uh, so what can you do about this okay uh, I mean so, some people like me uh, say well I think you know, Google, Facebook, and the other big uh, tech giants are following what I'm doing a little bit too much. Okay, I mean, I like their products, uh, but, you know, I have Gmail and everything, and I like Google, whatever, uh, to do searches, but, uh, you know, do they really have to know absolutely everything and everywhere I've been? I don't think so. That's my opinion. Maybe you have a different opinion. But if you're interested, uh, let's have a look at a couple of web browsers that uh, I find are uh, crypto friendly. And um, there's even one that pays us to browse, can you believe? So first one we're going to talk about is Brave. This is a page. When, when you open up uh, Brave, uh, and you open up a new tab or new win a window it gives you a screen pretty much like this sometimes this area instead of being a very pretty picture uh, it can be um, an ad and typically it's going to be a crypto ad uh, the people at Brave really like crypto and um, what I want uh, you to have a look at is in terms of security and tracking and, and so on if we look at the top here, you see 163,000 trackers and ads blocked. Okay, I haven't been using <laughs> Brave for that long. I, I decided to start using it full time um, about a month ago. Okay, I've used it a little bit before and then I discovered that uh, it, it worked better than I expected and I decided to switch from Chrome completely to to Brave. Now what's very interesting is that if you like uh, Chrome because you can add uh, you know your MetaMask wallet for instance your Terra wallet and all kinds of extensions that you find really useful well you can have the same extensions installed on Brave. Why? Because at the, the core Brave is, uh, is is built on the Chrome core, okay, um, but with added security features, okay. So you're not losing any functionality, which is fantastic, but you're losing the ads. So if you like lo uh, looking at ads, stick stick to Chrome. If you don't want uh, if you don't want ads, uh, have a look at Brave. Maybe you'll enjoy it. So, I mean, I mean, just think about the number, 163,000 ads and trackers, and you see the numbers keep popping up, because whatever pages I've got up, they, they, they try to send, uh, uh, track, and, and they try to track data, and, and all being blocked, okay? Uh, so imagine how many I get per day, I mean, it's astronomical. <laughs> Now, another benefit is uh, you're safe on bandwidth. So if you're paying for internet usage uh, by the megabyte or the gigabyte, uh, 
Look, I saved 642.5 megabytes of bandwidth during the last month, more or less. And that resulted in uh, a time saving for me of about 2.3 hours. Okay, that's not huge, but it's still, you know, I work full time on my computer. I work very long hours on my computer. So, um, you know, it, it means that your browsing experience is a little bit faster. Not a lot, but, you know, over a span of a month or so, give or take, uh, it saved me 2.3 uh, hours. All right. Uh, now, here's a, a fun feature. Uh, I mean, I'm not using Brave because I think I'm going to get rich on crypto uh, by getting paid to browse, but Brave actually rewards users uh, by giving them a bat token, which is actually uh, one of the top tokens. If we go on um, on the coin uh, coin gecko and we look at the bat, the BAT token, can we get there? Yes, there we go. So it's in the top hundred tokens out there. There's a lot of it. Okay, it's $45 million worth of, of this token out there. That, that's pretty impressive. Uh, actually, no, there's 788 uh, million of them. Then the market cap is pretty huge. So, um, I don't know, I guess a lot of people are browsing uh, on Brave. But to get back to this, um, if you've got uh, if you accumulate 15 bats, uh, you can put them in a wallet. Or if you buy some bat and add them to this, you can put them in a wallet. They have a deal with uh, with a, uh, with, uh, with, a um, with a a wallet provider, and uh, you can uh, you can trade them, trade them for whatever Bitcoin, USDT, USDC, whatever. So I'm not expecting to make a lot of money out of this. I mean, make a dollar or fifty per month, uh, maybe, at the most. Uh, so for me to accumulate uh, fifteen bats, it's going to take months. But um, still, it's kind of a nice thing. You make a little bit of money um, browsing instead of being instead of paying. You know, it's better than the kick in the head. Okay. Now, you can also have news and other things at the bottom. Are they going to show or not? Yeah, so you can have access to your news and, and whatnot at the bottom. So it's going to show all kinds of news. Now, let's have a look at the second browser that I think is uh, quite interesting for crypto enthusiasts. Uh, it's Opera. Opera is uh, this is their home page it's free and it's uh, it has uh, features that are similar to brave but it has also some extra conveniences that I'm going to talk about there. so first uh, you download it you, uh, you can download it on um, your mobile on your computer uh, it, it works everywhere uh, iOS, uh, Android, uh, Mac, Windows, whatever. And uh, it's also, uh, you know, if you have, similarly to uh, Brave, if you have Chrome extensions, they will work on, uh, on Opera. You go into extensions, uh, Opera has its own extensions, but you can add a compatibility extension to make it compatible to work with uh, Go uh, Chrome extensions and pretty much all the Chrome extensions will work on it so, so you can add your MetaMask, you can add your Terra Wallet and all the other good stuff that you like to use right now that's pretty nice um, it also has a very good uh, security features that you can turn on uh, in the um, in the, s the settings. Okay, they're not turned on by default like uh, Brave uh, has. Uh, by default, Brave is at 
um, with very high security levels. So they will block ads, they will block trackers automatically, uh, and, and so on. Um, in, in Opera, you need to turn those features on. Okay, but they're pretty effective. Uh, they work pretty much the same way. Now, let's have a look at uh, the, the crypto features. So, one thing that's nice that Brave does not have is that Opera has a DAP portal. So, you see all kinds of nice apps, DAPs, I mean, that uh, are available. Okay, and they're on the Ethereum uh, network, most of them. There are a few also on the Tron network. So, if you're on those two networks, that's a neat feature. You know, um, those are some of the most popular apps and they're divided. Uh, here you can get your NFT collectibles, uh, here you got games and whatnots, and then here you got your DeFi section, social, whatever. You got all kinds of stuff. That, that's neat, and there's a lot of things I could discover uh, just by going through that. I don't know, all the DeFi, uh, the dApps and, uh, that are out there, they're hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and every day there's new ones so that's a nice fun way to explore I, I really like that feature now the other fun thing is that it comes built in with a wallet now to activate the wallet if you're on the, on the, the computer like here you need to use your phone so you download the app you put it on your phone you turn on the wallet on your phone and at that point on this side on the computer you'll see a QR code and you scan it. It will instantly connect um, the two. They will sync up and if you happen to have any tokens or collectibles, I guess and you put your NFTs in there, they will appear here. <coughs> so that's neat. You don't need to install another uh, wallet if you don't want to but you're limited to Ethereum and Tron as far as I know I don't think they, they do other networks yet maybe they will in the future who knows all right so uh, other features that I like another feature that I like a lot is um, that you know if you're limited in space you're using a, a laptop with a small screen and you want to talk to your friends and they happen to be on several apps, you know, like Messenger, WhatsApp, Skype, and so on and so on and so on. Um, then you, normally you would have to have all these apps open at the same time, plus your web browser uh, on your computer. Now, if you've got a small laptop with a small screen, um, you know, that takes up a lot of real estate. So one thing that's super nice is that you have uh, apps that are available directly in um, in Opera. Now, why it's not working? I don't know. Ah, there it is. <laughs> okay, so you can use WhatsApp directly through um, through Opera. So you scan the QR code here with your phone and you connect it. Similarly, you can use uh, Messenger. This is Thai language, I mean Bangkok. Uh, they have it in English. They have it in English too. Yes. Uh, so you can install, uh, you can connect to Messenger via, your, uh, via Opera directly. And when you finish with it, you just click back on the icon and it's gone and you continue doing whatever you were doing. Which is quite nice because you don't need to flip back and forth between uh, apps. Everything is here. Now, they only showed three at the moment, but there's up to 25 mess uh, instant messaging apps available in the settings. So you just add and remove whatever those you need. So it's, it's a bit of a time saver and a space saver at the same time. I think it's a neat feature. I wish uh, other browsers would have that. It's kind of nice. It's basically, I do most of my work on Brave and they don't have that right now. 
Okay, that's about it for uh, web browsers today. If you find this content interesting, please like and subscribe. They help. The algorithm loves these things. So, And uh, also, don't forget, there's a free book you can download. Who else gives you free books about crypto? Come on, name one. Na name anybody else who is giving you a, a crypto. You can put the comments below. You know, get the book, download it, read it. Let me know what you think. Love to hear your comments. Okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.